Hi, Internet. This is my first posting on YouTube. Hi, this is my cat, Skittles. Um, and today I thought I'd make a tutorial on how to assemble this, this easel behind me because I couldn't figure it out and I searched online and I couldn't find anything for this particular one. Um, I'm not an artist. I've never used an easel before, so I didn't really have a clue, and the instructions were really not helpful. They really weren't instructions. They were just like, this is what came in your set. So then I actually went back to Michael's because I needed to get something anyways, and I asked the lady, and she kind of told me, and then I kind of pretty much just figured it out from there. So I'm going to finish setting up my first one. And then I'm going to show you guys how to set up the second one because I actually bought two. All right, let's keep going. So, like I said, I bought this from Michaels. It was a bundle for $30. It's called the Artist Easel Bonus Bundle from Artist Loft. All right, so it came with the easel here. That's the thingy that I couldn't figure out how to put together that we're going to talk about. It also came with uh, six acrylic paints and um, what's that, the thing that you put paint on. I'm sorry guys, I'm learning how to paint, but it's gonna be an exciting journey. And then the canvas and three brushes. Okay, actually the reason that I bought this um, was because I wanted to do this awesome date night with wine and paint in front of Bob Ross Netflix because um, he's on Netflix now which is awesome and uh, just paint along with him so I'm actually gonna use oils and I bought a bunch of stuff and I had to look up how to oil paint because again this is all new to me anyways that's a side note also explains why I have two easels um, cause you gotta do cool date nights to keep marriage interesting, right? <laughs> Alright, this is the amazing instructions they sent me. Wow, so explanatory. Not really. Uh, it shows you basically what they sent you, but it's not super clear about where to put things. Oh my goodness, Kitty is really vocal today. So... Um, if that helps you, great. If not, here's a video about what to do. Alright, so first, obviously, we gotta cut everything apart. They had fun putting this all together. Now we gotta take it all apart. Here's your little package with the unhelpful instructions that are not really instructions. And then here's the key pieces. Cat, obviously. Then you've got this little piece here, and then you've got a longer piece. All right, so question is, where do you put these? And also, what's the deal with these thingies? They just wiggle in there, I don't get it. Okay. I know guys, you probably are a lot smarter than me, and if so, I don't know why you're watching this, but I read instructions, and if there's not instructions, then I'm a little confused. So, huh, fortunately, there's these little holes up here, so I thought to myself, gee, I bet these little holes are supposed to go up to these little holes. Oh, but they're not reaching. Okay, so this is what you got to do. First of all, little extra screw thing here, you got to unscrew that that's going to go through the holes. So we got to take that off. Just kind of forcibly pull it out. Okay, now we got to loosen this one a little bit so that we can move it up and down in this slot. See? Okay, we got to keep loosening. All right, just Maybe a little bit looser. All right, that's good enough. Okay, so see now we can kind of move it. Now you can move it to the point where it lines up with the holes, okay? 
these holes are not very done, not done very well. They're not super clear, but you can just remove the wood, get it out of your way. So you can get the screw in there. All right. Again, you got to be a little forcing, forcible with it. I don't, I don't know. These, this is a little harder than the other one. I think maybe the holes were not pierced as good on this one. Come on. There we go. All right. We got it. Screw the other end on. You can do this one. You can now make this as tight as you can or as you want to because we're not going to move that anymore. This piece doesn't move anymore. There's a lot of other pieces that are going to move more. Okay, like this one. Now this one can slide the way you want it, right? So you can do it like that, do it up like that. Cool. I thought that was pretty amazing. Um, now our last two pieces. All right, let's start off with the small one because it's easy and it's small and you got to start with one, right? All the way up to the top. That's where we're going. All right, go ahead and unscrew these. I'm not good at this video thing. I, I go the wrong way in order to make it stay in the video. Okay. It's a learning experience. This is kind of cool. Okay. Again, got to be a little forcible. These, these holes were really not made well, but that's okay. We're just going to have lots of wood dust all over. The tarp that I put down, which is why I put a tarp down. Um, okay, so we take that off. There's a little groove here indicating where it should go. All right, so you want it to go like this. Let me move the easel so it's facing us like this, right? So I just want to put it here. It doesn't matter where because you're going to be sliding it. So. Now you put this piece back on the back. And again, if the holes weren't pierced well, this might take a little bit of effort. Okay, so we've got it around. You see that on the side like that. Take our little screw things. Sorry, I don't know technical terms. Sorry, my cat is meowing so much. He's not allowed to go outside today. That's why he's meowing. Um, he's usually indoor, outdoor, but he's been feeling a little sick, so we got to keep an eye on him. Um, all right, so we're just going to tighten these right here. But again, leave it a little bit loose, and you can see it can go up and down. There we go. Um, you're going to tighten it once you get this bottom piece in, and then once you put your uh, canvas in, based on the size of the canvas, that's how um, you'll put these two moving pieces at the top and bottom of the canvas. So again, I'm just um, unscrewing these because we got to take this back part off. Okay, kind of manhandle this off like that. And again, there's a little groove here showing you how it's supposed to go. So, whoops, went out of the camera. All right, so we just kind of put it like this. Let's show a side view, shall we? Sure. All right, so we, now we put it back into the screws, but this time it's around this middle bar, the middle bar of the easel. Make sure it goes around, it fits well. All right, I'm just gonna screw these back on. And again, leave it a little bit loose so that we can, oh my goodness. so that we can adjust it based on our canvas. Let's get 
with the other one. I think this is tight enough that it's not going to slide all over the place. Okay. All right. Yay. It looks like a real easel now. How exciting. Okay. I'm going to take this one from my other complete easel and put it on this one so we can get a demonstration of what to do. All right. So now it's resting on the bottom easel, right? Now, this is supposed to be a standing easel. So... I figured I might as well just slide this thingy up as high as it can go because I'm standing. And honestly, I don't feel like it goes up very high. I mean, this is as high as it goes, so hopefully you're not super, super tall. Or I'm doing it wrong. Also a possibility. Doesn't matter, though. At this point, it's really up to you. And your cat, who definitely has a say in such things. Right, Skittles? Yeah. Okay. Then we're sliding this one down. Not like this. It's supposed to wedge it in there. So bring the screws down below it so it's like this. Right? So now it's wedged in between. Now you can tighten it because you want it to go anywhere while you're creating your beautiful Bob Ross masterpiece, obviously. Okay? That's that. We did it, guys. I'm super proud of us. Skittles, you want to say bye? Come here, Skittles. Skittles is being shy today, guys. All right. Good luck. Bye.